one of the major changes in the M22 paper is the 10 mark policy question that dramatically increases the weightage of paper 3. What's more, you get a completely new question style. Oh wait, is it really new? Here I'll give you three tips to deal with this policy question and show you how new isn't exactly new. So if you think these kinds of videos are useful and you want to know more about IBDP business and economics related topics, click on the subscribe button below to stay updated. Now let's get started. First, let's explore why new isn't really new. Here are the questions from the specimen paper. Now, if you felt that the questions don't look that alien, you aren't wrong. These questions are extremely similar to the 15 mark essay questions on the government policies and there are tons of them. The beauty then is that the answer structures are extremely similar to these 15 mark essays except you only have to focus on one policy. So then what is the answer structure like? There are three things you need to focus on. First, how does the policy work and what are the benefits of using this policy? Second, what are the limitations of the policy idly explained to? And third, evaluate the policy. To what extent do you expect it to be effective? How is it suitable to the context? So if you want to know more about how to write a perfect evaluation, watch my video on the same. The link is in the description below. Basically, in other words, you're essentially just writing a simple two-sided argument. Now let's look at the second point. Why new is actually new? While the questions are similar to the essay question, there is one crucial difference. You have to use data from the context to answer the questions. For instance, a diagram was provided for the question on market failure. Your answer would thus have to reference the diagram. How big a tax do you want to implement? Why should it lead to market failure? What is the size of the deadweight loss that um, would be eliminated? Uh, in the specimen paper for the question on coffee, an export diagram was provided, which you would again be expected to utilize in your own way. Now, how big a subsidy do you want to impose for? In other words, while you might be using a diagram in an essay, for paper 3, you are expected to use specific data. You cannot just be saying implement a tax equivalent to the externality. You actually have to identify from the diagram. Now, another thing to note is that the policy question can test you from anywhere from the entire syllabus, including international and development economics. So the question then arises is what should you focus on then? This brings us to point three. Point three are the topics to look out for. Now we reckon that questions come generally from the following topics. First, government intervention, that is price control, ceilings, floors, subsidies, taxes. Second is market failure, so that is taxes, subsidies, legislation, education and campaigns, direct government provision, tradable permits, nudges um, and collective self-governance. The third topic is market structures. So look out for government regulation on monopoly power, nationalization, uh, pricing policy, anti-competitive regulations against mergers and protection against the abuse of monopoly power. Another uh, favorite is economic growth and distribution of income. So look at progressive ta taxes, transfer payments, subsidies and direct government provision of merit goods and indirect goods uh, and uh, indirect taxes. Next. Demand and supply side policies, favorite fiscal policy, monetary policy, supply side policies, make sure to study them well. Next, international, you look at trades, tariffs, quotas, export import subsidies and regulatory bar barriers. Look at balance of payments and exchange rates, you look at expenditure switching, that is supply side policies, protectionism policy, exchange rate policies and um, expenditure reducing policies. So you can also look at contractionary monetary policies, contractionary fiscal policies. And last, development economics. So look at um, trade policy like export promotion, import substitution, supply side policies, uh, redistribution um, policies, transfer payments, direct government provision, subsidies uh, for merit goods, demand side policy like expansionary fiscal, uh, expansionary monetary policy. Now, clearly determining the relevant policy is important, which requires you to correctly identify the corresponding problem that the economy is facing. Now, if you provide a confusing positive and negative externality um, diagram, now that would be fatal. So while your answer should focus on the pros and cons of the policy, be sure to develop your proficiency in recognizing the relevant economic problem from the diagrams and uh, data that is the graphs and tables provided. I hope this was helpful. For more tips on how to effectively answer your IBDP economics questions, follow this playlist. This is Aneri Shah signing off.